In this clip, you'll see how to find n in a future value annuity. Similar process to all the other ones. Once again, you have to read the question carefully. Make sure there's a lump sum and that it exists in the future and that there are a series of deposits. When you've got that, you write down the variables n, i, p, v, payment, f, v, checking payments per year and compounding periods per year. Enter the data into your calculator and solve for n, which is F1. The answer you'll get be in terms of the number of periods, i.e. number of months if it's compounding monthly, or number of quarters if it's compounding quarterly. Let's have a look at the questions, the easiest way to work it out. Walter wishes to save $15,000 for a holiday and puts away $400 per month in an account paying 6.5% per annum compounded monthly. How long will it take for him to reach the goal? So, there are a series of deposits at $400 per month, and he wants to find out how long it's going to take him to save the $15,000. The $15,000 will exist in the future, so it's a future value annuity. There is a regular series of payments. The money exists in the future. We have FE, payment, and the rate, but we haven't got N. So once again, on your paper, write down N, I, P, V, payment, future value, payments per year, and compounding periods per year. Fill in what you know. You don't know N. 6.15 is the interest rate. P, V is zero. Payment is 400. Remembering to put minus there. 15,000 is the future value. Payments per year of 12. Compounding periods per year, 12. Enter into the calculator, and you'll end up finding N, which is F1, and you'll have an answer of 34.39. So 34.39 is 34.39 months because the, the question has been asked monthly. So remember that whatever the question is being asked in, the answer for N will be like that.